Yo, Sanjay Uchiha here, people. Giving you my review on episode 8 of the fifth and final season of Samurai Jack. <sighs> God. I mean, it sucks that we're basically nearing the end because if I've got my chickens coming counted right, <laughs> we are budgeted for 10 episodes, if I'm not mistaken. But uh, I guess all good things need to come to an end. But let's get into this episode, and if you've been watching all my previous Samurai Jack reviews, you know what I'm going to say, just like I say at the beginning of every Samurai Jack review. This episode was another great one, like, God, like it's just a given, like, Samurai Jack Season 5, you know, episode rating at least a 9 out of 10. And this was another, like, 9 point, 9 point some out of 10, to say the least. Um, what we got in this episode, it really revolved around this space prison that crashed the Earth, and it revolved around Jack and Ashi's adventures in said spaceship as they basically took shelter from a sandstorm, and how they actually worked together to defeat this, basically, organism that was being stored there as a prisoner. That's really the basis of the episode. But not necessarily what made the episode good. I mean, the, the actions and fighting scenes are usually, they're usually good where Samurai Jack's concerned. So it does add to it, but it's not necessarily what made the episode really good for me. Um, what made this episode good, let me just get to that, is really, I'd say, two things. One, <coughs> basically, we know that Jack and Ashi have basically conquered their inner demons from previous episodes. For a previous episode for Jack and the episode before that for Ashi. But this episode helped to hammer that um, message home essentially. As since they've essentially conquered their inner demons, they can now move on to, I guess, <laughs> quote unquote, I guess conquering each other. <laughs> if you're seeing the thumbnail, obviously. But, but yeah, seriously and truly. Because these two as characters would not have reached this point if they hadn't received the development they had through the previous seven episodes. And I really like how it's actually executed in this episode. Um, secondly, the fact that the series is now an adult swim. And I know a lot of you who've been watching the series obviously picked it up at this point. The episode is more darker, it takes more liberties with the jokes it makes, for example, the, the, the penis joke in last week's episode. Um, but yeah, the fact that it's on Adult Swim gives the creator more freedom to express more mature content, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so what really made this, my second point really and truly is just the, I guess, quote unquote the sexual comedy <laughs> in this episode from start well it was very um obvious in the in the first half of this episode and then towards the latter half of the latter half well yeah just basically the last the last part of the episode as well obviously <laughs> and i must say the, the, these sexual interactions quote unquote they actually helped to really pull the episode up into that I guess wow factor with entertainment is concerned. <laughs> I mean, just seeing Jack back to his old self, that in itself provides for some comedy as he interacts with Ashi because uh, we know Jack as a karate might not be used to certain situations. So, like, for example, in this episode, there's this one scene we see Jack seeing Ashi naked, and <laughs> it was just ridiculous. It was just ridiculously funny to see how Jack reacted. So, Definitely, character interaction in this episode was definitely, definitely fun. This episode, however, didn't really push the overall plot forward because, personally, I was expecting them to probably delve well, dive, um, deal with something involving Aku in this episode, but we didn't really get that. And if we're really budgeted for ten episodes, it'd be interesting to see how they, um, wrap things up with just two more episodes remaining but that aside I do, based on the writing up to this point I have confidence they can pull it off but it's just really the the time they have left because that's just what 40 basically 40 minutes 
if you combine episodes 9 and 10 when they come out so just a cause or concern really and truly but that aside it doesn't really take away from this episode and what it represents um it doesn't take a really take away too much yeah jack and ashi have basically conquered their inner demons they've moved on they've interacted and basically i'm <clears throat> ready to take the next step in their lives where i guess just starting anew <laughs> so that's basically it <clears throat> but um i must say though even the the beginning parts of this episode <laughs> The fight scene, I mean, as I said, the fight scenes are, they're pretty, they're pretty good as expected. The choreography is it's all the way up there. And there's one thing that I felt, it, like, <clears throat> Jack just looks, I don't know if it's like the new and improved art style, but Jack, he looks younger, a bit younger than he did, like, in previous seasons. Yeah. We know he's back to his old self, but, yeah. I, I like it, though, I like it, I like it. <clears throat> I can't say I dislike it. So, basically, through Jack and Ashi's efforts, we basically see them go up against this prison, well, space, this alien, essentially, alien prisoner. And it was funny seeing them exploring the ship, finding the weapon that's supposed to neutralize the prisoner, which they did. And it does lead up to this interesting scene by the end of it, where... <laughs> Where we just have Jack and Ashi just like staring at each other and we have this we don't have that usual watch out music the end of the episode we got this <laughs> what, what what would you what I call it? Yeah, you gotta have to watch the episode to see. But it was it made it really funny in a sexual way, but totally appropriate considering it's on adult swim, so yeah, as I keep mentioning. But all in all, I definitely have to give episode 8 of Samurai Jack a 9.3. Yeah, that's not my usual thing to, 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 <laughs> to give it like a rating. And probably 9.3 might be lowballing it. <laughs> might be. But overall, I must say, and I keep saying it every week, season 5 of Samurai Jack is a must see for any anybody that usually watched the episode back in um the series back in the day. So <clears throat> I'm looking forward to seeing how the dynamic and the interaction between Ashi and Jack go from this point on. Since they're essentially a couple now, so it's just fun to see that they've come from enemies to try to understand each other to basically love us at this point. But yeah, it should be interesting to see the dynamic between them going forward and eventually up to the ultimate face-off with Aku which the, the the shogun of sorrow <laughs> but if that that's all i have for this review people so if you like this review let me know what you thought if you watch the episode definitely let me know what you thought um comment rate subscribe it really helps me out um and i'll see you in the next one